Hi, previously we created this form and we set it up to send all of our form submissions to our email and on Slack as well. So in this video let's just connect HubSpot. So first thing that we need to do is to create this exact form in our HubSpot. So let me open my HubSpot here and you will see that I already created it. So I have my name here, I have email and message, exactly the same form that I have in DivHunt. So now we need to connect the fields and we need to connect the form. So let's start by connecting the form. First thing that we need to do is to install the HubSpot plugin. So if I go to the settings here, browse plugins and just install HubSpot form here. So let's go back here, click on your form, select transform here, just select HubSpot form. And when you click on HubSpot form, you will be asked to enter user ID and form ID. And this is like thank you uh, message. I will sh I will explain this thank you message, but for now let's connect user ID and form ID. So that you can find in your HubSpot when you open your form in uh, this URL. So this part is your user ID and this part is your form ID. So let's connect those two. And save. That's it, we connected our form, now we need to connect our fields. So each of our fields in form has its own name. So this name needs to be matching with the name in HubSpot. In this case we have full name, we have email and we have message. So let's connect those. So this one is full name. Uh, we have an email here and the message. And now everything is connected. This is a submit button, we don't need to connect, that, that will work just like that. And let's test our form now. If I send, I will get uh, this message that is coming from the HubSpot. So if I open uh, HubSpot, go to the options, this is the message I'm receiving. So thanks for submitting the form. And this should be working. If I go now to the HubSpot, open test form, and go to the submissions, I will see here that I submitted form like a minute ago. So yeah, that is working. And now let me explain you about that uh, thank you message. So let's go back to the builder. Okay, so if I select here custom, this means I need to create a custom success state. So let's do that one quickly. So let's add one div, which is going to be our success state. And inside let's put one image and maybe a paragraph which is going to say thank you. And, and here let's put one image, I have this check mark. I will not style it here, you can style it in whatever way you want, I will just show you how it works. So on this success state now, I can put class D age form success, like this. And when I enter that class, that success, <coughs> that success state will disappear because it is being shown only when user submits a form. So now if I go and submit that same form, I should see that success state that we just created. One more important note about success state is if you connect this form with the contact form for example, which we created in previous video, so you can find that uh, contact form here, if we connect it with this one, now these rules like success messages and stuff like that is stronger than the HubSpot one. So basically if you have this form connected with one of the DivHunt forms, this field doesn't mean anything. So basically everything is being done by DivHunt. But of course it is sending all the submissions to the HubSpot as well. Just thank you message is being done by DivHunt, not HubSpot anymore.